the legends. You've heard about them for years. The pretty housewife, you know the one. The friends burst in at the surprise party, find her spread eagle with the family dog licking peanut butter from between her legs. Well, she's real. Remember the cheerleader? She gets her stomach pumped. They find a quart of sperm. Her name's Luann. Hey. They may not look like much to you, but they were all stars on the circuit. The hooker reunites with John here. The molester with the molested. The guy hanging naked from the shower curtain rod, half dead from autoerotic asphyxiation. Hi, he's Lonnie, and, and he's a there. sex addict. Hi, Lonnie. These people are the reason emergency rooms have special tools to remove the champagne bottle, the fluorescent bulb, the hamster. For the freaks in here, sex is a compulsion like gambling or drugs or shoplifting. At least this one looks like love, if you squint. That's my best friend, Denny. Denny showed up here after he got booted from art school for waxing his weasel during life drawing class. Not like the model was even fine, just some old hippie with overgrown nature bush. But Denny didn't care. By then he was masturbating 15 times a day just to break even. Got so he could barely make a fist anymore. Nico gets released from the halfway house twice a week for therapy. Just like Cinderella. Only at midnight she turns into a fugitive. Don't get me wrong, I'm no different. We're all here for the same reason. To dig through our personal valise of perverse, heartbreaking memories until we find one that helps us to break the cycle. To get sober. For me, that means no more constant, meaningless sex with strangers. All the time. I come to meetings, I work the steps. I even try to abstain. So far, it's not going so well.